Okay, guys. Action! Hi, my name is Emma, and today I'm going to be doing a Monster High Fright's kind of action Operetta doll review. So this is the Operetta doll in her Fright's camera action black carpet wear. She is a Walmart exclusive. So the link down below takes you to a really cool page on Walmart.com where it talks about all the Fright's camera action stuff and they even have this little like quiz thingy where you can see what what school you would be in Fright's camera action. And no surprise, I was Viperine. If you guys take the quiz, please comment down below of what character you got. So let's get started. First we're gonna start looking at the box. Up here it has the little Monster High Frights Camera Action DVD. It says DVD 2014. And it has little sparklies, which are supposed to be camera flashes right here. It has the little Monster High emblem. It has like an old, it has like an old Hollywood wall saying Monster High. Then down here, it has a little illustration of Operetta. And then it says, Operetta, Daughter of the Phantom of the Opera. And then it says Hauntlywood, as if it were on a Hauntlywood sign. And it's ages six and up. And also, it looks like another Hollywood sign, and it's saying, Fright's Camera Action. At the back, it says, Monster High. Be yourself, be unique, be a monster. It says, Operetta, Daughter of the Phantom of, of the Opera. And then it has the full illustration of her. And then it has a little piece of her bio. Age, 16 and Phantom Years. Monster Parents, the Phantom of the Opera. Killer Style, from the top of my hot red victory roll hairdo to the soles of my shoes, don't step on them. I'm a high octane rockabilly phantom de force. I've also got this pitch perfect beauty mark that starts on my face and ends in the ginchiest tat ever. Freaky flaw. I'm a bit of a diva and a perfectionist. Okay, more than a bit. Mostly it's about my music though, which causes monsters to kind of lose their minds for a few days if they hear me sing live. Then my voice here, doesn't have a little the same effect when you listen to it. It's a action movie. It has been 400 years since the last vampire queen re ran away rather than rule. Now Draculaura has been declared the new heir to the vampire throne. But is she really the true queen or just a stand-in? The ghouls will have to exit stage fright and go on location to London, New Orleans, and finally Hauntlywood to find the real star and to see how the final scene ends. So let's take her out of the box. Operetta skin is a lovely lavender purple color. Here she is. She comes with a camera, a purse, a diary, and a stand and a brush. So let's take a close up look at the doll. So first we're gonna start with the hair. At the back, it's all red, wavy, and flowy. front, which is the black part of her hair. She has a nice little ponytail that is rolled up. Then she has her little rolled up bangs right here. Then she has a little white heart um, dice fascinator. This operetta doll doesn't have the mask, but it has netting that is part of the fascinator that kind of covers up her face a little bit. On the side of her face, you can see her birthmark. It goes all the way down to her neck and then down onto her arm, which kind of looks like a cobweb there. And then it turns into a tattoo. Her earrings are piano keys, and at the top, there's a cobweb. Now we're gonna move on to the makeup. 
on her brow bone, she has like a shimmery silver. And then on her lid, she has a brown color. And then underneath, she has some more shimmery silver. And then she has this really sweet cherry red lipstick. And then she has a signature beauty mark next to her lips. She has a very important monster necklace. I'm assuming she has a very important monster necklace because her friend Jackie Laura is friends with the star of the movie. The top of her dress is red metallic with some red netting up, up at the top. Her belt is piano keys and then the skirt part of her dress is stylized keys. The tool underneath the dress is red, but it also has a really cool, like, notes design and stuff. On one hand, she has a white glove, which, which have a seam on the side leading up to a small white bow. Same with the black, but she has a piano keys bracelet. Now let's take a look at her shoes. She has these really cute like cobweb shoes that are open toed and have a cute little bow. Oh, she's got a little spider on the bow. The heel of her shoe is black stacked dice. So let's take a look at her purse. The purse is fanned out piano keys and at the bottom of it, it has um, black beads pointing out. And then she has a black beaded wrist strap. She also comes with a camera. There's the flash on top. And then over here it has a little monster high symbol. It has different dials and controls on it like a real camera would. At the back it has an LCD screen and little buttons. And then she comes with a diary which um She's like, it's like a letter to somebody, and she's like writing about her and Holt. And then, um, at like the last three pages, she starts talking about Fred's camera action, and about Draculaura declared the queen and stuff. And then she's got her bio at the back. My favorite part about this doll is her dress, because it's so detailed and everything. And I really like the knitting for the dress. So that's my review of the Frights Camera Action Operetta doll. Remember, the only place where you can get this Frights Camera Action Operetta doll is in store at Walmart. Click the link down below to learn more about the Frights Camera Action doll. It also has a little quiz that you can see what Monster High character you would be. And if you do that quiz, can you tell me who you were down in the comments? Thank you for watching this doll review. Please comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up, follow us on Twitter,